We know there's a reason they call this Music City. Nashville, of course, is home to some of the world's best musicians. But News Channel 5 Investigates has discovered these musicians are running into all sorts of trouble at the airport with their instruments. Consumer investigator Jennifer Krause found it's all a question of whether they can carry them on the plane or not. That's right, Vicki and Rory. Musicians say they are often forced to check their instruments when they fly, even though, as we discovered, the president signed a law giving them the right to carry them on. It's not hard to find music in Music City or musicians with horror stories of flying with their instruments. But I have learned you can't bring the expensive ones. The Gin Blossom Scott Johnson says one of his guitars was severely damaged when he had to check it. And the same things happened to Tim McGraw's guitar tech, John Prestia. I've had guitars lost on the airlines. I've had um, necks broken in the airlines. And when we met the rock group Framing Hanley at the airport... Yeah, I've had a guitar broken uh, from an airline before, and they just give you a one of those. They'd just gotten back from a tour, but discovered many of their guitars had not. Yeah, we're missing like yeah. five. My God, they're throwing guitars out there. And then there's Dave Carroll's parody about his frustrating experience with United Airlines. Because United breaks guitars which has been viewed more than 14 million times on YouTube. Professional musicians like Dan Tracy with the Alan Parsons Project say they'd much rather carry on their instruments, but not all airlines or flight attendants will allow it. Just last month, he says, when he took this photo showing several empty overhead bins on his flight, the crew insisted he check his guitar. And after landing, he found this. And it's about a four inch crack that's across there. Tracy thought there was supposed to be a law to keep this from happening, and there is, sort of. Nearly three years ago, President Obama signed the FAA Modernization and Reform Act of 2012, which says airlines must allow passengers to carry on violins, guitars, and other musical instruments if they fit under a seat or in a bin and their space when the passenger boards. But there was a catch. The law gave the FAA two years to come up with guidelines for the airlines, but those two years came and went and nothing. Now here we are nearly three years later and the law still hasn't taken effect. I think a lot of musicians are gonna be really surprised to hear about this and really angry to hear about this. We saw the passage of the law as a great step forward. Dave Pomeroy, president of the Nashville Musicians Association, lobbied hard for years to get that law passed and says he was shocked to learn earlier this year that the federal agency hadn't even started work on the regulations. We immediately, you know, went to the FAA and all the responsible parties and said, what is going on? Well, you know, what are you going to do about this? Pomeroy's since made two trips to Washington, while Senator Lamar Alexander and Congressman Jim Cooper sent a letter to Transportation Secretary Anthony Fox demanding action. Yet professional musicians are still waiting. Your livelihood is, is put in danger. And... Uh, it's unacceptable. Just like what happened to Del McCoury's classic 1956 Martin. This guitar was bought by my mother as a gift to my father in 1966. And he's played this guitar for the majority of his career. Rob McCoury of the Del McCoury band says it was apparently run over by a baggage cart after his dad checked it and the neck snapped in two. McCoury's had his own banjo and guitars damaged on flights. But we need to do our job, and to do our job, we need our instruments. And that's why Nashville musicians say the FAA needs to do its job. If you can carry them on, we wouldn't have this problem. Now, late this afternoon, the U.S. Transportation Secretary's office told me they do plan to issue a final rule by the end of this year, finally making it official that passengers will be able to carry their instruments on with them on all U.S. air carriers. Congressman Jim Cooper said in response, quote, the rule can't come soon enough. Every day wasted puts another instrument at risk. And Vicki will keep uh, an eye on this and, and let you know when it actually happens. All right. Thanks, Jennifer.